all the moisture most farms had in 2019, there is a tendency to think, you know what, if I just get rid of surface moisture, I'm going to solve a lot of my problem. That is absolutely not true. With drain tile, what you can do is lower the water table in your field. Lowering the water table is the true solution for your farm. Because I want you to think about this. Even if you get rid of surface water, if your soil is still full of water, your roots can't grow down. Your soil life can't live because there's no oxygen there. You're going to have a poor soil period if you don't have good drainage. So we want to talk just a little bit today about installing drain tile, some of the common things we hear about drain tile that are not true, and why you should put some tile in on your farm if you've had a drainage issue. First of all, Brian, I want to start here because almost every farmer I talk to, when we start talking about drain tile, they look at their absolute most difficult field to get things done and say, when I get to that field, it's gonna to be tough because I don't have slope or I've got a neighbor that doesn't agree with me on how we should do things or, or this challenge or that. Forget about the worst possible field. Let's start talking about, hey, you know what? I need tile in quite a few of my fields or quite a few areas in my fields. Let's start working with the easiest area and just get the ball rolling. Just as a quick example off our own farm this year, where we have tile on one side of the road, neighbors don't have tile on the other side of the road, we had tremendous crop on our side, planted close to on time. On the other side, prevent plant. It was that stark a contrast this year. And the other thing is, I look at the long-term health of that ground. Well, we're gonna be able to raise much better crop next year because we had a crop out there this year and because our soil life has continued to be able to thrive. Not only did we have a crop growing, but also the big factor is there was oxygen in that soil so that soil life could do well. So the most important thing that I want you to think about today that a lot of people will basically talk against is this. When you put tile in the ground, it's one of the very best things you could possibly do for the environment. You're gonna have a healthier soil, there's gonna be cleaner water, you're gonna have less flooding. It is an amazing thing when tile is done right. It's a benefit for everybody. And think about this, you're just trying to control where that water table is at. So let's say you're putting tile in at about three feet deep in the soil. That's where a lot of our tile ends up, at about three feet deep. What you're doing is you're keeping the ideal composition of air, water, and soil from three feet and up. So the top three feet of soil, you've got about 25% air, 25% water, and 50% dirt. That's ideal for your crops and for your root growth. And then below, once you get to that three foot tile line, that's where the water table is going to be at its maximum. Now, Darren mentioned three feet several times. There's nothing saying you have to be at three feet. Here's what I want you to consider when it comes to tile depth. How low do you want that water table? The purpose of getting the water table down is so you have room for your roots to grow, number one, obviously. But then number two, it's when you get lots of rain, you have created a reservoir to hold that rain over a short period of time. So for example, in a lot of our fields, we have things set up on a half inch drainage coefficient, which means we can get rid of a half inch of water per acre per day, okay? So if I get a four inch rain, that means at a minimum, it's gonna take eight days for that water to slowly go out of my ground. Now, if I had my ground completely full of water already and I get a four inch rain, guess what? All four inches goes off and I might get that four inch rain in three hours. So that's where flooding occurs. And this is the reason why when you put tile on the ground, you see far less flooding and you see far less erosion because water doesn't have to leave the field. It can slowly move down in the ground. And also when it slowly moves down in the ground, it gets filtered. Soil is one of the best filters of water that there is. So that water, when it hits the tile line, usually it's quite clean. We typically see this as being drinking water quality by the time it hits that tile line. But all I'm getting at here is let's say you live in an area that gets 50 inches of rainfall compared to where we are, where we get 22. Okay, maybe you want your tile lines a little deeper than three feet. Maybe you want them at four feet just to be able to hold a little more water. You have a little more capacity. You know, the other thing, Brian, that comes in is what spacing do I put tile lines in in my field? And let's just say that you've got a relatively flat field and you're going to have to do pattern tiling out there. The heavier your ground, the closer those tile lines are going to have to be together. And I just tell farmers, just get started. If you say, you know what, I'm going to put tile lines in every 100 feet, that's fine. You can always split those lines and come back out and put another line in between. Here are the three biggest objections I hear from people when it comes to drain tile. Cost, NRCS and my ground's too flat. First of all, in terms of cost, I don't even know what to say here other than 
put some tile in the ground and you're going to find it pays really quickly. Tile is the best thing we've ever invested in on our farm. Number two, NRCS. Don't forget, NRCS wants you to tile. I realize you may have some people that work in your area for NRCS that don't understand it, so they automatically think it's bad and, oh, we're draining all the duck ponds. That's nonsense. Okay, NRCS wants tile because the purpose of NRCS is to reduce erosion, and tile is one of the best things proven to reduce erosion. So that absolutely is not true. And by the way, as a United States citizen, you have the right to drain your ground. Number three, ground is too flat. Okay, very, very simple. Yes, you're gonna have to put a little more tile in if the ground is very flat, but you can bring your water to a lift station and you can pump it out. Now, before we put lift stations in on our farm, I also thought this would be expensive and boy, the electricity bill. We've had one lift station that's shut off only briefly in the last two years and my cost still isn't very much. Compared to what I've gained in yield, it's leaps and bounds better. So don't get too hung up on your cost, the NRCS thing, or my ground's too flat. You absolutely can get tiling done. We certainly have on our farm, and it has made such an enormous difference. That's why I'm so passionate about tiling, because it has literally transformed our farm. Most of our ground is now fantastic. Well, one other thing that helps turn ground around to get it more productive is to control our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this weed later in the show.